Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use widgets on iOS 14 as well as how to get some cool custom widgets via apps that can make your phone look just all the better. So I've been on iOS 14's public beta for a while, so I've, widgets isn't really something new to me, but I do realize a lot of you guys just updated and you're not really sure how to use widgets or how to customize widgets at all. So that's why I'm here to help you guys out. So I have my home screens here. As you can see, they're pretty bland, pretty plain folders on folders and just does not look good. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I customize my home screen to basically just make it look better <laughs> okay so in order to get widgets so either you can go swipe all the way to this screen here and here you can see some widgets and things or you can basically just hold on your home screen for a while and then it will turn into the editable version and then click on this plus button here at the top and then you'll see widgets. So um, here you have a few to choose from. So I'm gonna go to this page on my home screen and I already know I want my music one somewhere there. I do wish you had the option to change the color of the music one, but since that's not an option yet, I'm just gonna be putting it here for now. You'll see how I'll change it later, but right now I'm just gonna put it here. And then obviously you have a whole bunch of widgets that you can use. So. Each widget has its own kind of settings. So for instance, the music one, you have different size options. So you have this one, you have the bit larger one, and then you have the biggest one possible. So um, that's how the widgets look and the different styles. Each one has its own style. The smart stack has different, has all the types of widgets in one. So you can have weather, music, photos everything in one widget and it just changes out throughout the day and again you have different sizes of each widget photos different sizes notes maps look really cool in dark mode let me just see if i switch to dark mode real quick uh, dark mode and i want to add that widget uh, here you see maps looks really cool in dark mode and uh, some of the other ones too so yeah dark mode really is one of my favorite things about all this <laughs> clock also looks really cool and yeah you can just play around with this and some apps have different widgets so if i go to battery here is the battery icon again dark mode this looks super cool um yeah they just give you a bunch of options here for widgets you can add you can also make your own custom stack. So the way you do that is, so I'm gonna click on the plus button here and make a stack for say fitness, which I would never actually use. Anyway, so I'll have the small stack, for example, for fitness. Now I'm gonna add another small stack um, for, let's say the clock, add a widget. And I'm gonna drag this stack on top of this stack. And now I can, when I'm on my home screen, I can swipe between the stacks. So you can also have your own dedicated stack. So for things you often use, so if you want to quickly check the time, quickly check your fitness. Um, you can also add, I don't know, whatever. So let's say battery, for instance. Small stack for that. Click add widget. Drag that over this stack. Done. And you have that as well so you can make your own custom stacks if you don't want to use the smart stack um which will just it's just more customizable to what you actually do throughout the day and not just all the widgets in one stack so you can also do that if that is something that you're interested in doing so now that you know how to add the widgets to your home screen i'm going to show you guys how to customize the widgets um so you these I am going to be using is called Widget Smith and Color Widgets. So first one I'm going to go into is Widget Smith. So this is more of a plain one. So this is the one I've created. It's very plain. You can choose which layout you want. You can choose a small one, a medium one, or a large widget. And I'm just going to be going with the smaller one here. You can select if this is the first template you have. So to edit it, you just tap on it and then you can edit it or you can select add small widget and then add another one with a different kind of style so i'm going to tap on this again and here you can see you have your layout so you have the time or you have the date you can choose which one you want to use i think i'm going to go for the time this time you can select the location you can select the font that you want for your time i'm going to go with this new york style one but they have a few to choose from 
Then you have tint colors, so different colors you can choose from. You have the background color. So here you can see what the background colors looks like. And also they have ones that are outlined. So um, yeah, you can choose which one you like. I like this one the most. And then you have time formatting. So you can choose 24 hour time, AM or PM, short AM or PM. I usually just go with the system settings or 24 hour time. That's what my phone is set to. A lot of people are surprised when my phone is on 24 hour time, but that's kind of a usual thing here in South Africa. But anyway, so um, yeah, I'm just going to sit with the system settings. And once I'm done, I'm going to quickly rename it so that I actually know. So I'm just going to select time and click save. So here we have it here. Um, this is the other one like I showed you guys. So to add this widget, I'm going to tap on my screen. And then I'm going to click on the plus button here again. Go down until I see the app that says Widget Smith. Tap on that. And then I'm just going to select add widget. And as you can see, it took the date one. So in order to change it to the one that you want, I'm just going to hold down on the widget. I'm going to hold down on the widget, select edit widget. And then select which widget I want to use. So I'm going to select the time one here. And then I'm just going to go out again and then it has my time right there. So that's how you use Widgetsmith to edit some widgets. Now let's go to color widgets. So as you can see, they have a templates for you to choose from. Um, it shows basically the date and your battery percentage. This is the one I've made just as an example. You have again different styles and sizes that you can choose from. Um, in the background here, you can choose all these. So you have light, colored or dark background. I'm going to go with the dark background. You can choose a theme here. So you have different themes with different colors and these look better depending also on the background color that you have. But I like dark mode. I don't know why. I'm just a sucker for dark mode. Um, so yeah, then you can also choose the font. So this will only change the font of the name of the day. So Saturday, Monday, whatever. Um, I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with a wider view, so I wanna see that one. I think we're gonna go with this one. And then for the background of your widget, you can select add a photo. So I'm gonna go into photos and find some photos that I think will look cool. So for instance, this image looks pretty cool with the date and everything. So yeah, you can choose whatever image you want for a background. This image also looks pretty cool. Um, I doubt that I'll be using this, but it looks pretty cool with the smoke and everything. So yeah, you can really play around with this widget to find the one that you like. This also looks really cool. I like that the color, that the text is such a low opacity that it looks like the photos kind of overlap the text. I think that's really cool. So yeah. That's how you have even more custom fonts. It has a lot more options than the previous app. And then the same thing, if you want to add this widget, so I'm going to add it to this screen. You just tap anywhere on your screen, hold that in, then this appears, click on the plus button, scroll down until you find color widgets, tap on it, select the view that you want. I'm going to go with this one and then select add widget. And then it just goes here. And that's how you edit custom widgets on your iPhone. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. You got some more clarity on what to do if you want custom widgets. I really hope this helped. <laughs> if this video was helpful, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any other questions you might have for me related to iOS 14. And let me know what do you guys think of the update because I think a lot of people will really love this update since it is so customizable to your own style and other apps that help with customizing. So let me know what your thoughts are. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen, click on the playlist to see all of my other tech related videos and click on the video to my previously uploaded video. I love you guys so much, be weird and be proud of it and stay safe. Bye.